I hope you got your book handy because I might. <laughs> we are live. We are live. Hold on. What book? Anyone. Oh, just Jesus. so you know, we are live. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I did not even realize that. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Hello. Girl, we already got people streaming in. Um, welcome. Welcome to my page. Um, we are just coming here today. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Tammy. Over here on the side of me is Larissa. <laughs> you set me hey. up. Okay. I know. This is a setup. We're actually coming on here because we are getting ready to do a mini series on Beyond Surviving. This month, the month of April, is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. And we thought that it was going to be very, very, very important um, that we share our stories. Uh, for those of you who do not know, who have not heard me speak in terms of, you know, child abuse, all of these different things, um, I am a victor. Um, because I have survived the abuse that occurred in my life. Um, I was molested at eight, raped at 13, molested at, after that, and then the cycle of abuse just continued, continued, continued. And this is actually how I began my business, Sexually Saved. Um, I started this company because of the abuse that happened to me and because of the trauma that happened after it and me trying to repair my life after, you know, suffering the abuse that I suffered. And so we just wanted to come on here real quick, see who's going to jump on. This is impromptu. Um, so we didn't tell anybody that we were coming on because we didn't even really know that we were coming on. We were just like, let's go ahead and do it because we do want to invite people to come and join us on this mini series that's going to be on April um, this yeah. month, April, on Tuesdays at 6. So, Larissa. Tammy. Let's hear. Who are you? Tell everybody just a little bit. Just a little bit. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> uh, for the record, you were buffering just now. While oh. we were buffering, so, I did okay. need to hear some of what you said. Okay. But, however, hello, everyone. Hi, my lovelies. I am Larissa Cerrone. I am an author, a survivor empowerment coach. I am an advocate for all things surviving ch childhood traumas. And uh, I'm a mother and I'm joining forces and I'll just stop there. But I'm joining forces with this beautiful lady. I think she's to my left. <laughs> I don't know how you guys are seeing this. We somewhere on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> She's somewhere on the screen. So anyhow, we're joining forces for this month. It's not only national, national, what is it? Child, Child abuse, abuse prevention mm -hmm. month, but it's also sexual assault month, sexual, sexual assault prevention month. Let me say that. And so we're joining forces because we're actually doing a mini series called Beyond Surviving. Mm -hmm. And as Tammy alluded, she told you just now about her story. My story, uh, well, a part of my story is I am a third generation child rape survivor. And yes, it started with molestation, gradually, you know, went into the rape, the years of that, and uh, have been doing, well, as a result of everything that I have gone through, and doing my work, and that's my healing work, starting my journey a few years ago, uh, many things have happened since then. And one of the things that have happened is my going from being a survivor to now a thriver and creating spaces and platforms for people to not only tell their story, but also use, using my voice to advocate for this cause. And this is one of the ways, yes, we're doing a mini series in... I don't want to say celebration, but somewhat in celebration of this month and what it means and what it means to us. And again, us just using our voices. And Absolutely. so welcome. That's a little welcome, bit about me. Welcome. Um, and I think this series is so important because I don't know how many women or children or people, individuals that I encounter mm -hmm. who have experienced abuse. 
a lot of the reasons why, you know, some of the relationships that they have, um, even past that, how it manifests in their life. Um, our series, we're going to talk, we're going to touch on the acknowledgement, why it's important to acknowledge abuse, right? Um, because a lot of people don't acknowledge the abuse that they have. They don't understand what acknowledgement means. Um, they don't understand the impact that acknowledging um, the trauma that has happened to you, um, what it could do for their life. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're also going to talk about, um, what was the second topic? It was the- What we're doing now, the importance yeah. of using your voice. Yes, <laughs> using your voice. <laughs> we're talking about using your voice because why? Right. Your voice matters. And one of the things that the enemy tries to do is he tries to shut down your voice before you even understand that you have a voice, right? Um, that's what he does, right? He wants to shut your voice down. And so we're going to, you know, come here and, you know, share why it's important to use your voice, why it's important. Yeah. And why it's the, the first, it's one of the very first steps of healing too. That's how yeah. important it is. Mm -hmm. It's using your voice by just telling your story right? And starting that process. So yes, that is very crucial. We have to start speaking and that this preface, you know, moves mm -hmm. into our healing journey. So yes, Absolutely. this is very important. Absolutely. See, another topic we're going to be touching on, which is also crucial to this journey is support. And what does that mean? And what does it look like? And how yeah. it showed up in Tammy and myself uh, in, in, in our lives and yeah, the importance yeah. of not just community and aligning yourself with people that, you know, are behind you, will support you and encourage you on this journey, but all the benefits that comes along with that. Yes, absolutely. Um, because we need support. We absolutely need support. Um, another topic that we're going to talk about is going to be the manifestation. What does abuse look like after it manifests in your lives? How does that show up? Right. Um, you just said it earlier today that we always think straight to relationships, but it also shows up in your life and the things that you do every single day. And we're going to touch on these things because it's so important. I think when we are addressing these issues and speaking on them, we are silencing the enemy, right? We are bringing life to those who have experienced abuse. I kept quiet for way too long. <laughs> and, we, and you're going to hear about that. You're going to hear about the silence and what it does. But that's why we are here today. That's why we wanted to come on here real quick and, you know, just talk about it um, a little bit to get you involved, to get you to understand, to get you to know and just welcome you. Um, we want you to tune in on Tuesdays at 6. Um, it's going to be on both of our platforms, um, which you can see here at the bottom. It's going to be at Journey to Free 1 and at Sexually Saved um, or However, the case we're, we're going to share that when it when it comes on, you'll you'll know when we go live. <laughs> but we want you to be present. Um, another thing too that I love about Larissa is that she is an author, and she is an author of many. Do you have one of your books in front of you? Because I know I told you at the last minute to get one. <laughs> As I said, you said you. I was like, oh, wait a minute, what book do you got? <laughs> I do have this one because I was looking through it for something earlier. Yes, my body belongs to me. Yes. Um, Tell us a little bit about what this book is. So My Body Belongs to Me, it's, well, it's a boy and a girl's version to it. And another one that's called Children Have Rights to those books actually tells the story from a child's perspective in an engaging way, just to have parents engage their children and start the conversation about body safety, what yeah. it means to keep their body safe, what their private parts are and the actual correct terms to you. Yeah. Uh, my body belongs to me. This one is actually for ages four through eight, and it's done in a kid friendly way that the story is told in a kid friendly way of, you know, a, a little boy or a girl going on this journey of having the conversation with their friends that the, their mother have been teaching them about what it means to speak out. Mm -hmm. Right what it means to tell someone if something is happening to them that makes them feel uncomfortable. So it's all, all of these things that is in, caught and captured in the book yeah. and just 
again, sharing the story and having a resource to talk to the little ones about the importance of what that means. Yeah. You know? And again, because yeah. it's Child Abuse Prevention Month, I think it's a, a resource to help. Um, children have rights too. It's out of reach right now, yeah. but that is for eight, ages eight through 12. And that's actually done in a form of a comic book. And it was mm -hmm. co-written by, at the time, my 10-year-old son. And again, the same thing. We just capture the story in such a kid-friendly way, a child-friendly way, I should say. And it talks about one, I'll tell you one of the reasons real quick as to why I, the importance of writing this book for me was a few years ago while doing some school campaigns and talking to not only children, but also teachers and caregivers and just anyone that was working alongside children and realizing that while they were having, some people were having the conversation with their children, they never included the mouth and the private part, right? Mm -hmm. That was never listed as a private part. Mm -hmm. And while doing the work that I do now, realizing it that many of the children that I encounter now and have to work with without going into details that's a part of their story unfortunately where yeah. they're being abused in unspeakable ways mm -hmm. and yes without saying because i don't know i don't want us to be blocked before yeah. we get started so yeah yes yeah, so the emphasis and the real reason why pushed what pushed me to write this book was i had to include the mouth as well mm -hmm. and the importance talk about the significance of us talking to our children about mm -hmm. the wealth being a private part as well. Yeah. And I and I love that because so many families and, and and me, I'm an advocate for, you know, speaking to your children about child abuse or um, anything that could happen to them because that's how we protect them. Um, we want to empower our children, right? And teach them proper words. Um, we in in our series, we talk a little bit about, you know, what our process looks like. And for me, you know, we were talking about, you know, when we had to report it to like the police officers and the, de the detectives and whatnot. So imagine going to the detective and saying, you know, um, no, this boy touched me on my um, cookie. My cupcake. My, in my cupcake. Like, no, you can't do that. You have to use um, specific words, right? And even before that process, even before you get there, like imagine a child going to a teacher and saying, you know, um, my uncle touched me on my cupcake, right? Like, what does that mean? You know, like you have to empower your children with proper terms so that they can know how to use them um, in times if it ever comes up. And we just want to make sure that they are empowered. Um, can we read like just one line from your book. <laughs> I'm over here putting her on the spot, y'all. <laughs> you really, really such a need today. Oh, All righty. Listen, you guys need this book in your lives. And what I love is that it starts at age four, right? Yes. A lot of times when we think that we need to talk to our children when it comes to sex, we like, okay, let's start when they get older. Well, let's start when they get their cycle or let's start when they start hitting puberty and having their wet dreams and things like that. But no, it's a process that you have to go through. And you, the younger you start, the more empowered they will be, right? So, yeah. And one of the things I'm, I'm going to touch on real quick, just to add to that, that was actually an experience that we had where a little girl kept trying to tell her teacher what was happening to her but those were the exact words her uncle was touching her cookie mm -hmm. right and for months she tried telling that story and the teacher did not realize what was happening because of the word choice so that's why we stress the point of the importance of teaching kids the correct term for their private parts and yes. something I'm going to touch on since Sammy put me on the spot, is, which is covered in this book, is secrets and why it's so important for us to teach our, our children that secrets are a no-no, right? Mm -hmm. So um, on this particular page, and I'll show you, I feel like I'm doing a read aloud. Right now. I know. <laughs> it's okay, girl. We need it. We need it. It says, I love you. It's our secret. And the little girl is screaming, no, I will never keep it. The storyline goes, there are certain body parts that should never be touched, 
even if the person says it's your secret or I love you very much. This includes strangers, friends, and family too. If anyone tries to touch your private parts or ask you to touch their private parts, here is what you should do. Shout, no, or my body is my body. Well, how it's in the book is your body is your body and your body belongs to you, right? Mm. And that's this from, I don't know where the camera is, but. That is just from the center of the page. And again, talking, there's an image here of the guy, of course, telling her to shh, keep the secret and which is a part of my story as well. Um, so yes, I wrote also from my story, but knowing the secrets and the dangers around holding secrets, that also is captured in the book and why it's mm -hmm. important for us to have these conversations with our children. And I just want to add, um, in the back of this book, and well, all the books that I have, there's resources listed back here. There's sentences that you should practice with your child to say out loud. Uh, there are facts and just stats that's listed back here. And there's activities that you can do with your children. There's yeah. just a plethora of information in the back of the book for parents. And this is was not meant to be an ad for my body belongs to me, but no, no, but the, it's very critical and crucial, and it speaks life to you know the series that we have going on right now. Right. So I think it was absolutely important, you know, that we share um, because I put the links so that you can purchase your books. Thank you. um, we're going to share these and make sure that you know some people are buying it. Um, we do want you to understand that child abuse and awareness and prevention, all of these things are so important. And we have to do our part to keep our children safe, right? Mm -hmm. um, of course, we got to cover them and pray for them and, you know, keep them secure at all times, but we can't be in their presence all the time. So we have to equip them to understand how to, you know, keep themselves when we're not around. Um, right. So we hope that you join us on the series. We only wanted to come on here for a couple of minutes and share and talk a little bit about what to expect. Um, it's going to be airing on Tuesdays this month, Tuesdays this Sorry, month. Sorry, tomorrow. Yeah. And right. Um, starting at 6 p.m., um, we're going to be live. So, yeah. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> I just <laughs> wanted to recap on what you touched on and, and mm -hmm. talk about the, the topics that we're going to be discussing. Prayerfully, mm -hmm. this will go into something else or lead and we'll continue to have these conversations. But talking about acknowledgement, about, yeah. you know, the power of using your voice, which speaks to also this mm -hmm. is what it looks like using our voices on this platform, but also using your voice to empower your children, to yes. talk to your children, to prep them, to make sure that they are walking out your doors knowledgeable and we're talking to them about the dangers that may be on the inside of their homes, right? Mm -hmm. But it all falls under using your voice. Yes. We're also going to be talking and stressing the importance of support and listening the various ways that unhealed trauma, unhealed mm -hmm. sexual abuse, and the trauma that comes with that shows up, how it manifests in our adult years. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys for joining us. I look forward to us having these conversations for this month. And Join us on this journey to free. Yes. And <laughs> be sexually saved. <laughs> no. <laughs> As we go through the process of moving beyond surviving to thriving. Yes. I mean, it's so awesome. Thank yes. you for putting me on the spot. Well, it's all good. Okay. You talk to me later. Talk to me later. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, guys.